question from Betty Cole, 6416. I think I've answered your questions before. She asks, do you stay at the place that you are at with the parking lot, with the awning you park under? That is nice, thanks. Well, I stay there during the day, but not at night. It's against, you know, no, you would, be, you would get the knock um, if you stayed overnight at a park. Now I know inside the park, uh, really deep inside the park, yeah. Um, I, I suspect that when I get there early, there's there's like a RV park there. And uh, the one that, that ran that generator, the, you know, I showed you the other day, I think, I think he's been staying there off and on all night long. It's against the rules, it's against the law, it's against the, the city code to stay inside the park, yeah, all night. No, I have special place that I go to at night. It's in a neighborhood and that's where I go. So, and it's, like I mentioned, it's dark and because there's no um, street lights. Tucson is not known for having a lot of street lights because it's more like considered like a dark city uh, where because of stargazing and things like that. So not a lot of, um, yeah, street lights. But of course on your main streets, of course you're gonna have the lights. But so the answer is no, no, I don't stay at the park. Uh, um, in Reno, there was a park that I stayed in all the time. <laughs> a lot of us did, we had a little community going on. And I was like, but we were so clean. Um, and we, we like looked out for the park and it was funny too, because I was kind of new that first year I was kind of new in, um, Reno and I had met some friends at another park at rock park. And then I decided to go to Idlewild park. So if you know Reno, there you go. And I would be there. Well, I was still working at Amazon. So I would go on my days off. I would go to Idlewild park. Well, uh, yeah, I met briefly, I met um, Red. I don't know if you remember him. Hey, Red, I don't know if you're still watching my videos, but I miss you. And um, met Red, and <laughs> we would talk, and Sapo, Sapo died. Sapo was his dog, little dog, so cute. Well, one night, I just didn't want to leave. And I thought, I just don't want to leave. I'm tired of driving, I don't want to drive right now. So what I did, <laughs> so what I did is I just spent the night and I kind of would wake up, put one eye out there. Oh, I remember behind me in this other little parking lot close, there were some partiers there till like one in the morning. But I just went back to sleep and all of a sudden it was morning. So, <laughs> and I'm new to Reno, right? And this was during uh, COVID, right? This was like in June, July, August of 2020. And uh, so when Red came back, I said, oh, I go, guess what? I go, I spent the night here. He goes, you did? I go, he goes, nobody bothered you. And I said, no, no. So he started spending the night too. Well, then later, I it's like, I'm not even from Reno and I started something. And there were all these other people that, it was like a little community. We all just parked around there. I remember Max was there. We called this area the Grassy Knoll. And Max came, he spent a couple of weeks there with us. And uh, it was a lot of fun. They had a pond, they had a lot of ducks. Idle Wild Park. If you go to Reno, um, and then the, the next two years that I went in the, in the summer, um, I spent the night at Idlewild Park again. So if you're in Reno, Idlewild Park, I don't know, they probably, you can still stay there. <laughs> there you go. Nice park. The only thing is on Friday, they have the truck, um, food truck, food truck Friday, and they clear everybody out of there. Mm -hmm. They just clear you out. So this is a little hint for you if you want to go to Reno, okay?
I'm going to organize up my storage unit, <laughs> my little rental here, my 5 by 10 rental. I have some projects I want to get started with, and I want to use my table. And I figured this is the perfect place to do it. I mean, I can park my car. They know I'm here, and I've got my unit here, and I can kind of do I could actually stay here for three, four hours if I wanted to. So what I did was buy five more butane canisters. I found them at Walmart. They're behind locked uh, case. It's a clear case, and they've got them locked. They wouldn't even let me put them in my cart. They took them up to the cashier and said, just ask for them when you go up. So I have five more. I've still got about five inside one of my bins here. But what I like to do is tape them up. I like to tape on the cap on it so that doesn't come off. Because if it gets released and, put, and you know if the little lever gets pushed down, butane goes into the air and that's just not good. So I'm spending this time. I want to get things organized up in my storage unit. I cleaned out my drawers in my van for clothes, so I'm kind of organizing my clothes up. When I stayed at the hotel, I went through everything, refolded all my winter clothes, my hoodies, my jackets, my fleece outfits, and so I'm still in the process of putting things where they go. You know, it's sort of like what we learned in kindergarten, categorization. What category does it go in? I think I got an A plus in kindergarten for that because I'm really good at it. So right now I'm just kind of cleaning things off. I, what I have been doing in the past is coming in and dropping things off and just sitting it on the table in my storage unit. So right now I'm just going to rework everything and get it cleaned up. The big gray box is my Starlink. And in the duffel bag is like my slack line. Things that I use, my toys that I use at a park. Yeah, here's um, here's five more. So I'm going to put them away that got taped up. So I did count them. I have now about 15 canisters. That should last me a while. I think I use about one a week. I don't, although because I've been steaming broccoli, I have been using a little bit more of the butane. But that's okay. I don't mind. I'd rather have the broccoli. I really appreciate this table in here. I have another friend, shout out to Kathy. Kathy did the same thing because she saw what I did. And she's starting to clean out and sort of minimize her life. And she's taking stuff to storage. And she went and got a table like I did. And it's inside her um, storage unit. Because I can put things underneath it and I can still do things on top. Now, I do have a project coming up. I can't wait to show you. I'm going to do new curtains inside my minivan. It's a long time coming. It's just little things just hanging around. Um, stuff that I took camping. I'm not sure if I want to keep those or not. Now, in this bin, there's things that I need. I want to get them out. I want to see exactly what's in here. I do have my wigs in here. I'm not sure what to do with those. But I do want to get out my heated jacket because I just might need it. There's my uh, warm gloves. I want to get those out. 
my really nice leather gloves. There's some more shampoo. I need that. Here's some more alcohol. I need that. And here's some cords. I need to look inside my cords. I think there's a couple cords in here that I, I actually do need. Let's see what, what's in here that I need. Most likely these are cords for my power stations. Just checking it out. See what I have. Yeah, I think I needed that. It's an extra USB cord. Let's see if there's anything else I need. Okay, yeah, there's my heated jacket. I definitely want to keep that close by. I knew I needed my good gloves. I'm going to be outside coming up holding a, a sign um, for it. Not, not for money, but for God. <laughs> and my friend and I were going to stand on a corner. He's going to be on one caddy corner. He'll get the traffic going one way and I'll get him going the other way for a couple hours. I've always wanted to try it, see what that's like. It'll be fun. It's going to be cold, though. Yeah, these are my curtains here. I ordered them from Amazon. Okay, it's time to put things back. I really like this storage unit. $63 a month. Everything's expensive. Now here I want to look in here. This is my hammock. I want to keep that with me because I could definitely sit out with at the park with my hammock. Just kind of enjoy and watch and look at the sky. I'm going to do um, new curtains. Blackout curtains. Turk and purple. I'll come back in a couple days. I'll do them on this table. I'll cut them here. I'm not going to do it today. I don't want to rush through it and make a mistake. Question, and this is again from um, my stories 4120 with the Betty Boop. Betty Boop. Okay, let me turn it this way. Oh, and not being able to stand inside vehicle. Did that bother you at least once since almost seven years? Not really. Not really. I don't need to stand up if I, if I can. I can get dressed because I'm only I'm five foot three. And I can uh, sit there and get my pants up sort of and then I lay back and I pull them up. <laughs> so that's fine too, you know, that I can do that. And so standing up isn't a big deal. What I can do is I can stand up like this. 
I can't stand up all the way because my head would hit it. But I could stand up a little bit and I could pull my pants up if I want to. Or I can just stand up like this and walk like that. I mean, I can do that. That's no big deal. Um, so I can sort of stand up. I really don't see any reason to. If I could stand up all the time, I might never get out of my van. I might actually stay in there all the time. And I don't want to do that. When I need to stand up, I go into the gym and I work out or... And then I get tired, I go into the, I go um, out of my van and go into a park and I walk there. But here's another one. She says, thanks for answering her question yesterday. Okay. Oh, um, she says, that was fun. I have another question leading from the last one. During hot months, or in my case, cold month, did you ever have friends or anyone ask you if you wanted to stay at their place just for two months or until the weather gets better? If yes, how do you feel about that? Here, some new homes have bathrooms built with each bedroom homes, and they're too big in my opinion. Okay. Um, I, and not really. I mean, sometimes I do get comments from y'all out there that say, hey, if you ever need a place to stay, come. Yeah. Um, oh, I did have one, um, Deb, um, in uh, Florida. Yeah. You wanted me to come to Florida, and uh, you said I could have stayed there. Um, I like my van. It's my home. I like it. And I'm happy to be there. I don't need to be in another place. How do I, how, so that's really how I feel about it. No, I don't, um, <laughs> my daughter's always trying to get me to, she, she goes, I got the back room, which is now her, you know, part office. And she goes, oh, you could sleep there and you can pull this thing out. Well, that doesn't look too comfortable. My bed is where I sleep. It is what I prefer. I, it's what my body knows. It's what I'm used to. So no, I don't want to sleep at my daughter's house. I don't. <laughs> I just don't. And um, no, I don't want to stay there. No, um, yeah, I just don't. I don't want to do that. I have my own system. And I like it. And it's, you know, plus I don't want to um, burden. But that's the main reason is that. I have a home and I like it. So there's your, um, there's your answer on that one. Yeah. I'm happy where I'm at and I don't, I mean, staying here in a hotel, I don't always sleep totally uh, perfect. I sleep perfect in my van on top of my sleeping bag with my blankets on top of me, my pillows placed where I know they are that my knee can rest on them, that I can put my arm around one pillow or the pillows, I like my pillows. My body sleeps better when I know, when, it's, when it knows what it's doing. There you go. This move is for your back, for those hanging, sagging little wings that you see a lot of people walk around with, especially women, because it comes out of their bra or their sports bra. It's those hanging wings on the back. This is for that. I saw a trainer online say that you should do this every day. Now you're holding it and you're pulling it past your ears and you're pulling it like at eye level and you're pulling it past this rope thing at the gym is perfect for that. But you could also have a rubber, one of those bands, and wrap it, if you're boondocking, wrap it around a tree, a small tree, and pull it. Just get it at eye level and pull it. Pull it past your ears.